What's going on, guys? Welcome to All Access Magic. I'm your host, Mr. Ryan Edwards. This guy over, I don't know which direction. I'm on the other side. Oh, now. Oh, we flipped it now. All right. <laughs> but Blaze, Sarah, welcome everybody to the show. We've got a lot of fun in store. We have some announcements for all of you. Thank you for uh, for joining us. Lindsay over here in the chat. If I apply to work at a restaurant, they would hire me instantly with all the waiting I've done in this lobby. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's a tradition. Yeah, uh, Lindsay, tonight was tougher uh, because there's a tornado watch where I am. Uh, it's like severe thunder showers, like crazy, crazy rain that like you couldn't see outside. So I'm currently in my basement and not in the studio. So that way, uh, in case a tornado does come uh, during the podcast, at least I'm in the basement and staying safe. So yeah. hopefully the power stays on throughout the uh, podcast. You are in your shelter. You've had a crazy, crazy time recently, man. It's just been back to back insanity recently. Every week. So the only good thing is I was able, I, I did go out before that and I grabbed some food. So I'm going to eat during the podcast, which I've never yes. really done before. Uh, but I'm going to have dinner because uh, we were traveling. All good. Join the club. I've done it before. Yeah. The thing is, like, I'll I'll think that I'm being slightly sneaky, but I'll be absolutely yeah. not at no. all sneaky. <laughs> I'm apologizing before the before the stream. So that's uh, good. Yeah, this is interesting too, though. Uh, oh, now my hands are so sticky. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what are you eating? Uh, I got McNuggets. Uh, uh, I got oh, and you got honey. Open the honey, and it got on my hands. Dude, this is wild. Okay, so everybody in the comments, is this a thing that's normal for you to be eating your McNuggets with honey, or is this just a uh, Canadian thing? The best. Do you tried it while you were here? I right? did try. I did try it. Yeah, it's and amazing. okay, it does. It is pretty good. It's but weird. when I lived in Vegas, that it was is weird. The shittiest part of living in Vegas is when I went to McDonald's and was like, "Do you guys have honey?" And they're like, "We have honey mustard." So I was like, "No." Honey mustard slaps, dude. Honey mustard slaps. No, I don't like mustard. I oh, you don't like mustard? No. Dude, so mustard is like is mustard is a pretty like king condiment. I'm eating this over top of my pool table right now as well, which is mm. super dangerous. So, nice. so comment in the comments if you are a, a honey person. A honey person, yeah. I mean, nuggets. Any kind of chicken, really, but nuggets are, are the best for it. Mm. Now, uh, we uh, we have some announcements for everybody. Also, by the way, uh, just a, uh, a recap. A couple days ago, we had the uh, the game night, which was a blast with all the patrons. Like, so much fun. Cool. So thank you for all the patrons that joined us. Lindsay, you still need to join us Lindsay. for a game night. It's crazy. We're having so much fun on these game nights. It's the same time frame as mm -hmm. the podcast usually is. That's it. I mean, we do it on a different night. Maybe we need to do um, an episode that is a game night sometime. I think and, maybe, uh, maybe that's what we do next Wednesday. Yeah. Um, actually, I need to talk to you about next Wednesday because I have a gig next oh. Wednesday. I have a gig in New York next Wednesday. Wednesday. This one's a private gig. But yeah, the following Wednesday would be, uh, would be amazing. Yeah, I would love to do that because we we should definitely stream uh, doing something with the patrons. Yeah, you know what sucks? Lindsay said, but I was working. Lindsay, but what's more important? Yeah, from gaming, work. gaming. Um, the, the crappy part is because I'm not logged in on this computer because I usually stream from upstairs hmm. is I can't bring anybody's comments and stuff up. Uh, so I'm going over, I'm trying to click on Lindsay's thing and I'm like, well, Lindsay oh. said, I've never tried nuggets with honey, but I'm not opposed to trying it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, honestly, it's pretty good, but honey mustard is just another level. Honey mustard is so good. But you're you're not a mustard guy. Don't like mustard. No. You know what blows my mind about mustard. mustard? Sure, but uh... okay. So th you know you know what's crazy about mustard, right? Is you're saying you don't like mustard, mm -hmm. but that is like saying that you don't like like a giant of uh, umbrella of things. Like that's that's like saying you don't like fruit, right? Because there is a large there is a large swath mm. like myriad items under the category of mustard. Because think about this, right? Mm. Right? Mm. You go to you go to if I say ketchup, there's only one ketchup that we think of, right? Well, Everybody ketchup knows ketchup. Different ketchups. Are there a lot of different ketchups? Oh yeah. Am I just of the people? What do you th uh, really? Okay, what, what oh, yeah. especially when I was younger, there was purple ketchup, green ketchup. What? No, oh, yeah. Then there's different kinds. So like you have your Heinz you are lying to me that there's green ketchup. Promise you. You're talking about relish, dude. Mm -mm. Dude, 
Look it up. Look it up. Dude, dude that it. you know what that is? That is little Ryan going, Oh, I just don't get wait, are you talking about salsa, dude? No. <laughs> are you talking no, about no. tomatillo salsa, no. bro? Green ketchup. You're talking about green ketchup? Wait, green ketchup. Mm, I like Lindsay's comment. Gaming or a gig in New York? Hmm. Dude, the rise and fall of Heinz's green ketchup is the first article that pops up. The rise and fall. There was green ketchup. The sad oh, demise. It was green and purple. They had purple as well. Oh, okay. Oh, chocolate is brown, mustard is yellow, and ketchup is red. Or so okay. So, but but wait, are these all okay? But this is just a marketing campaign. <clears throat> and they actually taste a different one. Yeah, but this is stupid. This is awful. <laughs> this is the most. I think this is a dumb yeah. ass idea, dude. Look at this. Wait, let's turn on the. Uh, I'll turn on the uh, the audio so you can. Yeah, hear we got the audio for this one. I mean, this is what I grew up on. Heinz Easy Squirt Ketchup has a nozzle that makes it easy to draw. On food! Heinz Easy Squirt. It's fun for your food. Oh. Didn't even show the colored one. But that's the bottle that came in. It was the Easy Squeeze bottle. Fantastic. Oh, we can't hear you now. The level of stupid, the levels of stupid go so deep on that, dude. Bro, that's the a commercial. Stupid Memorable. goes so deep yeah, on that. Shirt on the on the target on his shirt. Okay, so first off, right, the idea of this guy with a white T-shirt mm -hmm. and something falling on his shirt as the only iconic image of a ketchup commercial. Probably not the best look, right? Because well, everyone thinking, oh, I'm going to get ketchup on my white shirt. Probably not the best look, right? Okay, then you've got, <laughs> you've got the fact that... The kid. Was, was Heinz that hard to squirt in the first place? Well, That you needed then, it to be easier? Yeah, it was because you would get the bottles, right? Oh, it was a whole other world back then. <clears throat> yeah, there's no like the, the like square bottle kind of thing. No, did, did you have opposable thumbs back then? Like, <laughs> that's crazy, man. Bro, you had to top the top the neck. That's when things were black and white. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. Wow. Easy squeeze. Mm -hmm. They don't have all the contraptions like the the wider lid and stuff that they have now. But what I. Like where yeah. you like put the ketchup so it's always face down so you can open it and it's already ready to squeeze. <laughs> Lindsay said, Ryan, Ryan, Blaze doesn't know glass bottles. <laughs> Wait, what's... Right. So is this like really thin glass? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's multiple glass. Is this like pliable glass? So okay, in general, other than a seasonal, other than a seasonal limited run ad campaign, but there is different, not like, a lot of different varieties of ketchup. Well, no, there's like ketchup with garlic in it. There's ketchup with like hot sauce, like spicy ketchup. There's some different kinds. Okay, okay, for sure. I think that I think that there are far more varieties of mustard. Of mustard, I would say. Uh, well, yeah, because there's like different brands and stuff like that. There's probably more brands that do. No, dude, I'm talking about like you've got honey mustard, you've got yellow mustard, you've got brown mustard, you've got Dijon mustard, you've got Grey Poupon, you've got spicy Grey Poupon. That's only Bruh. like five. You were saying like 40 before. Dude, there's a whole lot more variations of all of those. It keeps branching. Mustard just goes so deep, dude. I don't know. <laughs> there's If you go to Pepper excuse me, Pepper Palace, there is like a full shelf of different kinds of ketchup, like different spice levels and stuff like that. How <laughs> many varieties of mustard are there? Let's see. There are over 40 different varieties of mustard plants. Oh, but that's not. <laughs> plants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rewind. Wait, pause the TV. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
You got so excited. You're like, there are over 40, 40 different mustards on the shelf. Yeah. But, <laughs> but three are the most popular for culinary use <laughs> of the 40 uh, mustard plants. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Either so, way. I think your your statement of hating mustard and the entire world of condiments <laughs> is, uh, is false <laughs> by a long shot. Um, um, yeah. Maybe, maybe my entire hypothesis is being rejected right now <laughs> yeah i think so uh comment in the comment box if you think that blaze was <laughs> entirely off yeah entirely off. he must have blazed right before this <laughs> no, did not but entirely off on this uh this mustard rant but the real business the real announcement that we're talking mm. about here is uh is this one. current yeah this current new deal with uh Wait, have you heard about the? Uh, okay, anyways, other. Th- <laughs> I'll tell you about that later. But we have this really exciting new deal one. with. No, oh, wait, three, two, one. Okay, okay. so oh. you got to start at one, and then you go back up to two. Mm-hmm. And then we can just hold here for a little while. Yeah, we could. People we could. don't like that though. So but we sh- okay, so that's why we keep moving. But if we add a few jump cuts on to, like, if it goes like. <laughs> If it's like two, but then we add in like a, like a quick transition, like just a whoa two, you know, like two two. Yeah, we can keep it going longer. Anyways, we have a lot of exciting announcements. Oh, yeah. One, we're going to be partnering with uh, a very uh, established, exciting, uh, great magic company, Vanishing Inc., and uh, trying to offer you reviews again. We're trying to offer. Uh, like the best reviews in the magic game. And we want to know what you would like us to review rather than before where we kind of were relegated to being sent things. And then we needed to review what we were sent. Uh, Now we have, we're going to ask you guys for your choice and we will review what the audience likes, you know, and we can actually uh, pick something that we all like together. Comment like crazy tonight um, and comment on it. If you're watching the video afterwards, comment on YouTube. What product do you want us to review first? (laughs) You know, obviously we have to ask them to get the product to review. So it'll be their judgment if we can get the product. But we will try to um, review everything that you guys want us to review. And and while you're doing that, uh, I'm making a straw poll. And we can basically uh, vote on it afterwards. Yeah. So we'll just go through, and uh, and then once we get all of your suggestions for what you what products you are interested, the latest and greatest, or it doesn't even have to be latest and greatest. It could be something that came out a long time ago that you think is really interesting that you don't know if you should bite the bullet and get it or not. Then uh, write it down, and uh, we will well, aggregate all those and make a little poll. <clears throat> let's add that. a couple ourselves right now. Yeah. Um, let me uh, let me pull up a, a website here. Lindsay said Patreon votes count as two votes. You haven't even made a vote yet. Okay, mm-hmm. calm down, Lindsay. Calm down. Okay. You got to make a suggestion. So I'm going to say glare. Glare. Okay. Victor Sands. Um, that's the one where it's like the Hofsinger card that uh, then changes. Victor Sands is that by is that glare Victor Sands is that one thing or two different things? Glare is the name of the trick. Victor Sands uh, oh, okay. to Hofsinger. Okay, uh, is this a note that you have on your phone? Uh, no, I just oh, want okay. to say. Oh, okay, gotcha. Um, uh, ben is very interested in some reviews of Orion Magic Productions. We would love to do it. Does vanishing oh, yeah. does vanishing um uh carry any of the orion magic projects because... i'm not sure i'm on a different website right now um just looking to see what what else is out uh, there. speaking but... of orion there's actually a new project that recently came out on orion magic i'm just pulling it up wow typing is not going good here what is going on with my phone? Wow. Every time I touch something. 
Oh. Well, uh, but speaking of uh, speaking of Orion Magic Productions, there is a uh, a recent project that has just come out with Orion Magic, and uh, we're going to be joined very soon by Leonardo Flores, who is the creator of this newest release with Orion Magic, and we're going to find out all about this new release and uh, hear about it from the creator. So that's really exciting. But uh, yeah, we're really all about trying to just support all different members of the magic community, friends of ours and, uh, and support like uh, the different magic companies. So, you know, friends of ours like Perseus that we had on a few weeks ago, you can check out the interview. He runs Orion. So we want to, uh, you know, shout out his new project with uh, Leonardo Flores. And, uh, and we're also going to be uh, checking out a bunch of things from vanishing really soon. So, Really excited to see uh, what you guys are interested in uh, in us reviewing. I'm interested in the card through window, the C two W. Oh yeah, yeah. Actually, I am as well. That is yeah. one that I do want to check out. Um, <clears throat> I know it's got a little bit of setup for it, but if you're doing a card through window, you probably need setup. So yeah, um, I think that was one of the hits that it took was people thought it was going to be like impromptu. Oh yeah, but it's like it's not. Uh, huh? yeah. Um. You know what else I would love to review is that coin trick that you uh, have that you just got. The one that uh, the oh yeah, Coinception. Coinception. Uh, yeah. I have to see if that is a if that is on vanishing, um, yeah. because it is by Roddy McGee. Oh, and it is on vanishing. Awesome, Beauty. Coinception. Beauty. I I would love to review that first, only because I selfishly want to get it because it looks really cool. Dude, it, and what I love about that is he has really ingeniously kind of masterminded the last move where you restore the last bit, which leaves you totally clean, which is so, so nice to like be able to immediately hand it out. I love the idea of like starting with no coin, building a coin out of nowhere and then just giving it to them and just being like, I'm not going to do any more coin tricks. Like that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. 100%. Yeah, it looks so good. So continue commenting. Oh, Blade by TCC would be pretty cool. I will check that out. Uh, and uh, set up a list of like the top 10 that people give us. And then. Um... Yeah. So I'll show everybody what I'm doing right now before our guest joins us. Um, this is what's happening on this side is um, I'm just going through and I am uh, going, what products should we review first from Vanishing Inc. And just making a quick list of all of the different ones that we name and I'll just keep adding the different options. And then after this, I'll send out the straw poll link to everybody in the chat and you can vote on what you're most interested in seeing us review. And then we'll send that over here's, to vanishing. Here's a question for you. Cause I know it's a product that we both have already is yeah. Tempest out yet. Is Tempest out? Ooh, no, it's up. I know, <clears throat> I know uh, the distributor has posted about it. Yes, I see it. Um, well, I opened up. Okay, so you asked about Tempest. Look at this. I open up Murphy site. It's the first thing. The first thing, yeah. That's why I was wondering if it. Yeah. Oh, it's getting vanishing, and uh, it is. It uh, appears to be uh, available. Yeah. So why don't we do that next week since we both have it? Yeah, we can definitely review Tempest. And it's available. So. Yeah. Let's. Uh, there we go. We'll do that next week, and then uh, from there we'll uh, we'll we'll still do the gives point. us time gives us time to submit this and then get whatever product that we're gonna do to kick off this new partnership. So yeah. excited about it and see how it goes. You know, and well, hopefully we can get it in that amount of time if they're able to get everything sorted on their end. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. So, but, uh, but yeah, yeah, very exciting. Works for in person or it also looks like Zoom. Yeah, impromptu or for virtual performances. Tempest looks really cool. I'm excited to dive into that. Mm -hmm. I didn't really check it out that much when I uh, when I got it, it when I opened it, up the I knew, box. I knew it wasn't coming out for a while, so yeah. I didn't open it because I didn't want to, <clears throat> you know, have the uh, temptation to to go out and use it and get in trouble. So. Yeah, I was afraid of breaking it. Well, our guest just disappeared, so we'll uh, we'll just continue <laughs> going with more uh, more I ideas of effects. Backstage, so uh, I I wasn't sure that he was even there. So yeah, yeah he was backstage for uh, for a wee bit, but. Uh, hmm but decided to leave. So now what's another a thing on Vanishing Ink that I'm interested in? Oh, you know that thing with the coin that shoots the coin out of the card box? No. So basically... I had to think about that. I was thinking that you were going to say the one where it shoots on the close-up pad. <clears throat> um, 
But so, I remember watching a review on that that it got absolutely destroyed. So imagine this is just like a regular card box, like a bicycle box, right? Yeah. Um, and oh my gosh, how do I not have a box? That's crazy. All of my cards are strewn about. So you've got a box. And uh, and then basically this is just sitting on a table and you'll have like a glass or something and there's and the glass is empty and you can do a coin vanish and then there's a motor and a coin loaded inside of the box and there's a little cut like flap yeah. and the, it'll raise up this arm and it'll shoot it and then it That's lands right. in the cup and then it lowers the arm down immediately and it's crazy man right. um so you can do like this this insane coins across you know where it's like impossible you know because you couldn't have possibly so you is it, you're putting the glass on top of the box no no no, no. Really? you put you put let's say you put the glass here on the table right you put the box like here on the table oh okay and it launches it like you gotta make sure like the precision of where you set this glass. And yeah, you you kind of like practice it, and it, uh, and then it you know it works. Yeah, interesting, crazy. I thought you were talking about like something that, and I was like, that's pretty old school. Like we have the coaster that does that now. Oh, yeah, no, it's a de definitely a much more high tech thing. I don't even know what it's called. I have to look into it, but um, yeah, I'll that's see cool. that thing. I mean, just described the method rather than what the trick is. T says, hey, Ryan, what happened to your studio? Isn't this your old studio room thing? So this is my basement uh, that I'm in. I'm actually set up on the pool table right now because there's a tornado warning uh, where we are. And so we have moved down to the basement for a little while. So I'm glad we still have power and stuff, which is great. There's no power outage, which is, which is awesome. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so hopefully you're safe. Again, that's yeah. plastic. Glass is something different. <laughs> yeah, dude, I love that. That's hilarious. I was dying. Yeah. Lindsay, amazing. Oh, Leo keeps having this issue. I'm going to see what's going on. Okay, sounds good. And then uh, with my studio, I'm changing some things up in my yeah. studio. Um, because... I'm going to check in with Leo really quick yeah, while, yeah. You, while you do that. Okay. I will tell him about the studio. So I got a bunch of stuff. Um, Give them to me. If you follow me on Facebook, uh, I put a post up uh, that my friend Peter McKinnon uh, absolutely blessed me and my family a couple weeks ago. And so um, things are changing upstairs a little bit, um, just moving some furniture and stuff around. And uh, and because we were, got some different spaces and stuff here at the house. And so studio is going to be changing a little bit in the next week as well. Um, and hopefully the, the look of everything in there. So We'll see, uh, but I should be back up there next week. Uh, any other uh, tricks and stuff that you guys want to add to the list? I'm going to take a look on, on Vanishing right now. <clears throat> let's see. Uh, let's see what we got. Let's see. If, if you don't shop at their site, it's an absolutely incredible site. And what we'll hopefully be able to do is set up an affiliate link. So anything that you guys are shopping for, you'll be able to go on their website and get a discount through us. Um, but uh, let's see what's new magic. Uh, uh, sealed. Okay, that's TTC or TCC. Uh, let's see. Uh, Lindsay says you can tell uh, you know, apart from his friends because his eyes mask is blue. I'm not sure what you mean, Lindsay, but uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Tigger T says, "Hope you guys stay safe." Thanks, Tigger T. Uh, yeah, we. It was. I was outside. I was driving back home through the storm, and on the highway that you usually drive, like 120 kilometers, 130, 140, sometimes. I was going 25 uh, because I could not see out my windshield. Basically, it was raining so hard. So I'm hoping that it's mostly blown over now because it's been a little bit. Well, we've been on here for 25 minutes, so it's probably been about an hour that the storm's been on. So I'm hoping that uh, it's passed over, but uh, but yeah. We uh, are, oh, what's up? Ninja Turtles. Uh, I, I got you, Lindsay. I grew up on Ninja Turtles. I actually have in my garage, I have a box full of the original unopened Ninja Turtles. So... I got to sell them one day, but 
Uh, uh, oh, what do you think about Eric Ross's eye candy? Uh, oh, we got to check it out. Yeah, I haven't seen yeah. it. I don't know, but uh, we are uh, about to be joined by the one and only Leonardo Flores. Blaze said, wait, Tigger said, Blaze looks like he is the one in the middle of a blackout. Oh, yeah, because it's so dark around me. Yo, can you guys hear me? Do I get feedback yeah. from you guys? No, it's no. it's no. all right, man. It, it sounds like you might have like a fan running or something in the background. Oh, yeah, that's my AC. Know. That's yeah, my AC. Dude. I'm going to put on my AirPods right now. It's just because it's like 90 degrees probably here in LA right now. Yeah, I mean, you could put on the AirPods or you could just do the podcast, you know, sweaty, you know, like, yeah. like, <laughs> like a man. Uh, <laughs> I'd rather not. <laughs> no. And I Can Be by Eric Ross. I pulled it up. That is the, the you know, put the uh, Tic Tac in your mouth, pull it out your eye, uh, <clears throat> which... Which is great. I've seen a bunch of people do it. I used to do thread all the time. That's like a classic trick, though. Um, yeah. Yeah. Thread hurts. Uh, so, yeah, our review on that would probably be the same as thread. Um, I guess eye candy doesn't hurt as much because it's out pretty quick. Uh, you know, yeah. it's. Yeah. It's, it's the same as like, yeah. Yeah. Like a seed or a popcorn kernel or whatever, like that kind of thing. Um, says Blara is hype about Leo in the house. Welcome to the show, oh, Leo. Yeah, you gotta get that. To... You gotta get says Blara on, but I don't know how that's gonna work with you having two accounts. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> we have two accounts. I love that he, you know, secretly he has to go back on and comment. Dude, on. I'm so good at typing while eating. It's crazy. He's got two laptops there. He's <laughs> yeah. I great. type with my foot. I got foot pedals. It's actually his mom. Is says. <laughs> <laughs> his mom is running the fan account yeah. my mom is my biggest fan she keeps oh, me yeah. going you know she watches every episode all the time that's where my self-esteem comes from exactly fair enough, man. Fair enough. uh there is another trick that i saw that sorry i'm gonna cut you off is called sealed uh by tcc which uh looks interesting well for everybody everybody who's curious by the way leo known him for a very long time Good friend of mine, moderator on the One V One Magic Discord. Him, <laughs> I'm a LA mod. Last dude. Time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I look like a fucking mod too. <laughs> <laughs> mod on the One V One Magic Discord, but that's not his highest accolade. <laughs> uh, also, oh, yeah. you're on YouTube too, so Magic I gotta ask. no press. You got to check out. He's also Magic Creator. You've been doing this actually quite a while. You have stuff released on Penguin. From a long time ago, I don't know if you're necessarily trying to hype that uh, the old stuff up, or if you just want to talk about the newer things. You could, you could, you, you, have, could. you have, you've been doing this for quite a while, man. So it's, uh, it's awesome seeing yeah, like your, your progression with, uh, with your creations. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, um, I recently, like not so long ago, just started getting into the YouTube thing, mm. and um, I've been kind of like silent with it for like the last couple weeks, maybe a month. But I'm gonna start getting back on it just because I got a new camera. Uh, I was shooting in 4K. So if you guys want to go see a tutorial, go at Dementors mm. LA on YouTube, please. Don't you get so excited when you get a new piece of equipment and it makes it so motivating to try and make content? Yeah. It, it makes it so much better. It makes your content so much crispier. Mm. Crispier. Crispier. Oh yeah, dude. More sharper, more crispier, more clear. It's it's beautiful. I'd rip a hundred percent more crispier, dude. I, I get I, all the DGI like emails and stuff with like what they're coming out with. Mm -hmm. When they came out with the new Ronin, I was like, I have no use for it because I'm not shooting. But I want it. But I want it. I was like, do I buy this? It's not crazy expensive for what it does. I haven't pulled the trigger yet, but yeah. I have the Rona SC. Big fan. Yeah, the only thing is, like, I'm not really doing a lot of shooting. Uh, if I take someone out, they're shooting me. So really, right? Mm -hmm. And yeah. so then it's like, do I need to have this big piece of equipment for? Well, me? yeah. I mean, the thing is that um, when you have the equipment, it doesn't tie you to a specific videographer. You know, because then you have consistency, but it depends on if you're filming that much content 
that it matters that you have that kind of aesthetic consistency, you know, yeah. like yeah. if you're really like, Oh, I want to have like the Ryan Edwards look and stuff. And I always color grade it the same way. So I want it to look like moody and stuff. So I'm going to like make sure I always shoot it on my Sony. Then it makes <laughs> yeah. sense that you always do that. And then you can swap videographers and it looks the same. But yeah. if you're collaborating with different people or whatever, that's true. That's true. Rare that you're going to find a videographer without a camera. That's, that's the big thing, right? Yeah. And if you're bringing someone out that doesn't have their own camera, probably maybe you shouldn't have them videoing anyways because they probably don't <laughs> know what they're doing. Dude, what if it's just some diamond in the rough prodigy, though? It could be. But... Yeah. You know, I always think about that so much. I'm like, doesn't it suck? Like, there's probably some creator out there in, like, a third world country who will never, like, I wouldn't say who will never get out there, but will have struggles getting out there because of their equipment mm -hmm. and, like, maybe their internet or something like that. And they're probably, like, gods at card and you don't even know. Oh, yeah. 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 They're yeah. just so talented at so many things. Yeah. There's so much talent that just doesn't get to be seen. So his yeah. letter says, uh, look at me typing with my foot. Less camera talk, more Zaddy Leo. Zaddy oh, Leo. I did. How's it going, How, Habibi? Why would why would you why why would you comment that on your own video? Like, I don't get it. Well, he likes to interrupt himself every once in a while to make it look like it may not be him. Mm -hmm. It's his subconscious just typing. It's like when we play Mafia, and I'll just like subtly drop something off frame just so that I can make sure that you don't notice that I tapped who I was going to murder. You know, it's yeah. the same kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he also plays as two or three different characters when we play Mafia. Like, <laughs> I've never played that with you guys. I've heard. You've never of it. played Mafia with us, dude. It's a fun time. I have Ooh. not played that. I've heard of it. I've heard, like, it's really? great. I heard it's like Among Us without Among Us. <laughs> you know, this, one thing. What were you gonna say, Brian? This week we played Among Us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we played Among Us. Yeah, I like it better, honestly. Like, dude, Mafia you crushed. Dude. Your first, like, your first oh, yeah. round as an imposter, was, which was like so fast. I was like, this guy doesn't know the I map, and he's I just venting, serious. venting, wrecking people. I was like, oh my god. Oh yeah, that was the best. As soon as I I logged on and it said you're the imposter, I was like, I don't know what to do, but I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna just walk around and kill people. And like, I just made sure that there was no one else in the area first. Yeah, walked around. And, yeah, it was pretty fun. I just like yeah. that you actually get to play like on your cell phone or on Xbox and stuff. Dude, and also the feeling of killing somebody in Among Us is very satisfying. Yeah, where Mafia, it's like uh, you just pick it and then you got to read like 12 paragraphs to figure out what the heck happened. Yeah. So. so, Leo, you all right there? There's a Lindsay. No, had a and no. Lindsay said, or a kid I'm is trying to a good point. <laughs> Can't afford to go to college, but could develop the next medical innovation if only school was free. So that's the crazy thing. And I've I've traveled to Guatemala a couple of times to do magic. And in mm -hmm. Guatemala, elementary school you have to pay to go to. Right. Uh, but if you make it to college, it's free because most people don't make it that far. Wow. Yeah. So if you can get there, then I guess their government pays for you to go. Um, because then you're you're going to be educated and help the country. But yeah, elementary school. Mm. <laughs> I asked a kid because I took Spanish for a couple of years when I was in university. And I asked this guy. Now, he was probably maybe like 18 at the time. He was going through the alphabet. And I forgot one of the letters. And I said to him, um, what is the next letter? And he said, I don't know. I'm like, you're like 17, 18 years old, man. Like, how do you not know what the next letter in the alphabet is? And he said, I never went to school. So he goes, I know like A, B, C, D, E. That's it. Bro. Whoa. Yeah. He can speak the language, just doesn't know the alphabet. So I was like, wow. Like you, you we take for granted such little things in, in life. It's so crazy. Oh, yeah. And I feel like there's such an interesting thing about that because of just how you orient yourself in the world, because I, I imagine that like written text is a big deal of how we like bargain with the future. You know, like you can write something down, you can plan something for the future, or you can tell information to other people through yeah. that. You can send it to other people far away. 
it's like your your life is very much relegated to just the here and now Mm -hmm. if you can't write or read i mean unless you're floyd mayweather and then you're just balling dude and Mm -hmm. then you just like it doesn't matter all right guys sorry i'm floyd money mayweather dude actually never mind maybe maybe that's a strength (laughs) yeah maybe we don't need to read i think my life would be significantly better if it was like floyd mayweather Wait, Floyd Mayweather doesn't know how to read? Yeah, he's illiterate. No way. What? Yeah, like actually. Really? What? I'm oh, sure he knows how to read it, that. but they, that was always the joke with uh, Conor McGregor and stuff. Always said that he couldn't read. I could see that one. <laughs> Sorry for all the. No, oh, maybe, fans. maybe I just like maybe I just like took it fully seriously. Wait. Yeah, I'm sure he's not not totally that way. Yeah. Is Floyd Mayweather illiterate? How does he read his own contract? <laughs> Floyd Mayweather uses oh, wow. audible. <laughs> wait, he said in twenty. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Um. Wait. <laughs> have you guys heard? <laughs> if you the also, funny. have you guys oh, tried oh, audible? God, if you would like to be as successful as the genius businessman Floyd Money Mayweather, then you also can expand your brain while training yeah. in the gym expand your brain while listening to audiobooks while you're training in the gym with audibletrial.com slash magic let's see if i could give a recommendation go. today oh man what an ad read what a show um just starts just start naming out sponsors that you're not sponsored by until you get sponsored Here's here's a book, which I haven't read, so I can't say that it's amazing. I listened to the preview of it, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, I did, actually. I started a little bit, but I have like seven hours left. Uh, is One Million Followers, the updated edition. So mm. how, do I, how do you do things on social media and stuff to get a million followers? One Million Followers, they, the updated edition. I did love that they actually did it, and they started from like ground zero and got a million followers in like, Mm. months or something like that like very very quickly they had all these ways of doing it without bots and all the other crap Mm, that's that's great yeah i think social media is so important nowadays it's really important to have an online presence um that's something that also just like you know what leo was talking about earlier is has been making a focus recently is also something i've been really diving into trying to make a focus as well um and have a lot of content backlogged um My dad has been listening to Scars and Stripes by Tim Kennedy, which he said has been a really great book and he highly recommends. And I'm looking forward to diving into that one after I finish the audio books that I have before that. So nice. check out Scars and Stripes. Leo, are you an audible guy? Am I an audible guy? Um, Not really. I mean, yeah. To be honest, the only thing I've I've heard is actually uh, I heard all of Harry Potter like at least oh, half of the books, at least, oh, to nice. be honest. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Mm, nice. Yeah. And it was fun. You know, I'll be like doing magic and I'll hear the book and just like, oh, it's like, it's just like reading it, but it's mm. in your ears. <laughs> Dude, like it's just it. like reading it, but it's in <laughs> Yeah. It's like reading it, but it's in Ryan and I both go to quoting you. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's going to be the quote of the week. I think that's what I'm just going to make the banner for this it's like episode. It, but it's, it's in your gonna ears. Be like, <laughs> yeah. All it says magic episode. I think it's 33. It'll be, it's just like reading it. But, but it's in your ears. Yeah. Um, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. Um, so this was crazy. Tigger T says that, um, she had to pay from kindergarten through university with something that, uh, they have to pay. And so she dropped out in high school, uh, not for money reasons, but at the time it was 1400 for every two months, Mm. which is, which is nuts. So that's a lot. (laughs) Yeah. So Wait, what is kinder through? You know, I'm so confused. I think Sorry. it's kindergarten through university. Or kindergarten through university. Oh yeah, yeah. As I was saying, kinder. Again. I am stupid. Kinder. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. A little, little. You need to listen to more audible, uh, with your ears and not your mouth. Not my mouth, dude. I should have gone to kindergarten. Yeah. Um. You didn't go to kindergarten. 
I went to kindergarten. I went to kindergarten. Yeah. What, is, what is do the thing? go back, though. What is do the thing? Oh, they want to see oh, you Leo. Oh, God. So, oh, Leo, they want you to do the thing. Can you do the thing? Uh, I, say, you have I don't know what thing they're talking about. There's multiple. Things. There's a lot of things. All right, so can you take us to another dimension, dude? Uh, no, but I could uh, grab my cat and then just grab his hand and then just just blow his hand. It changes <laughs> color. And then it goes back to normal. Good job, buddy. I'd probably flash that. But that's the only thing I've found useful with cat paw. If you guys want to go get cat paw, that's literally the only thing I use. He's actually doing it on a cat paw? That's a way actually, better use than any else anybody else's use. I actually was going to show um, – well, I actually did show this to uh, Cody Nottingham and uh, Davey Rocket from Illusionist. And they totally wanted to put this up on their story on Instagram, and I never ended up filming it, <laughs> which I, I feel so it, sad because it could have been a, a good opportunity. I do it, man. Don't let opportunities go, guys. That's my word of the, the day. I see Jurassicram. Jurassicram. Oh, no. So what man. would you like to do first? Would you like to do Jurassicram first, or would you like to do the, um, the, the, the thing with the deck that we talked about that's crazy? Like you, have, you have some products that you're releasing or that you just released. So here's yeah. an opportunity to have like 100,000 people watch it. Yeah. and 100,000 people. Well, <laughs> it's sometimes 300,000. Sometimes 300, Maybe not 100,000 right now, but by the end of the week. Okay. I'm going to mm -hmm. share something that I'm not even supposed to be sharing right now. And this <laughs> is going to be. He said that, was the... said that is the best trick ever. I want a cat pot now, but I need a new cat for that. though. <laughs> oh. What do you already have a white cat? You're like white to white. Yeah. And white yeah. to white. <laughs> then just grab his paw and just make, twist it and just go and just pop it off and then put it. Yeah. <laughs> you you also uh, remember you can. You can color. The cat paw, yeah. which is significantly easier than getting a new cat. Unless her cat passed away. And that's why she needs a new cat. Oh. <laughs> Hopefully that's not the case. No, well, that's not the case. Tigger will call yeah. me. But Tigger recently... Okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. All right. Leo, let's see it. Everybody's been talking about it. I haven't seen it yet. Oh, no. Which one? <laughs> um, all right. Here, I'll show this real oh. quick. Uh, so this is uh, something I've been working on. Uh, still in the process of being released soon in the future, hopefully. Um, but this is going to be the first time I show it, like, in the staple of, like, online social media, if that makes sense. Mm. So uh, here we go. Um, I guess we're going to go a little lower like this. Oh, that's Ooh. too loud. All right, so now, so Ryan, excited. this deck of cards here actually takes me around the world. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, does Leo actually work professional magic? And he does magic all over the world? Well, he doesn't. Hopefully, one day that'll be the case. But I, I mean, it literally takes me around the world. For example, let's say if I wanted to go to a memory I recall, maybe... Ah, here's an interesting one. Me and my mom used to go to the beach all the time. So I'm going to try to just... Maybe just do this real quick. And just like that, start to kind of see. It looks kind of like the beach. Nice. Appears. Let's right go there. to the beach. Beach, let's go get away. Dude, crazy. That's such a trippy visual. So. And then and then the gimmick is like, my God. Gimmick? Question you, mark, dude. You just went to a whole other land, you, dude. What are you I, talking about? I can about? tell you how... No, I'm not gonna lie. It's obviously a gimmick. I'm Dude, I just saw Paradise card. in that deck. <laughs> <laughs> You're telling me that's a gimmick? I mean, if I told you it was, would you believe me? Or did I do a deck switch in between that has drills and holes through the whole card? Mm. <laughs> so the the thing is with this uh, idea that I was playing with, um, still to be kind of manufactured if that makes sense um you can literally make it anything it doesn't mm. have to be a beach it can be whatever you'd like mm. it to be and uh this is why it's been so hard to wrap my head around what the idea is going to be for this product because i can literally 
have to, I'm probably gonna have to choose a couple of them or maybe just one out of all of the different options you can do. For example, if you wanted it well, to be your house, then you could do your house. It's, but no, 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 no. What about there. what about it not being limited to an option? What if you had a set of like potential Option, landmarks yeah. or options and you had an index of photos that would be like the eight wonders of the world or something you know yeah yeah yeah. and then you're like you literally see a portal to with like atlantis or whatever or like two you know like some uh, you know like it would be so interesting like to leave the multiple options and leave a free choice element so you get that yeah. kind of thing of like wait i could have thought of anywhere and now my thoughts are manifesting before me and the thing is, like, with this um, whole thing is... <laughs> Say, is it, doc, doc. <laughs> doc, doc, doc. Doc, um, There's so many different applications you can do with it, you know? So it's just kind of like, what do I want to do with it at the end of the day? It's like... And I'm still working on it. So, um, yeah, there you go. Um, I don't know if I flash that at all because I'm, like, a super small screen on the, on the phone. It's so yeah. good. But <laughs> I think I'd like to be the spectator's mom. Uh, <laughs> you don't allow you to spend time in my room. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing! <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. Um, that's oh, like, here's a here's another one for this one. This one's actually for a uh, Tigger. So if anyone's curious what the the jams are like on discord.allaccessmagic.com or 1v1magic.com, either one, um, you should check out discord.allaccessmagic.com if you're interested in hanging out with us or like calling into the show. Um, but if you're interested in what the jams are like on that, it's like this. It's uh, it's us just showing each other a bunch of ideas. Oh my gosh, you have the cat one? For I like second, that. Uh, That's crazy. For a second when I saw it though, I thought it was a butt crack. Because you didn't go up far enough to see the cat's eyes yet. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I see oh, one crack. Isn't that so interesting how like it uh <laughs> Lindsay said, Oh, it's a kitty as well. So I think the Lindsay <laughs> yeah, thought the kitty. same thing. Yeah. Um isn't that so interesting how it like um has that level of depth like illusion where it looks like you're yeah. seeing something really 3D for some reason? Like yeah. and that's the beauty of it. And the and the cool thing is like without explaining too much is you can have multiple of these throughout a deck and have it stay the same size as a regular size deck. So like, mm -hmm. if you wanted to say like, like how you said it, index it and just say, you want to go to Japan and put that, well, there's Japan. And you want to go to LA, here's LA. Mm -hmm. you wanted to go to Europe, here's Europe. So like you could do multiple of them in the same deck, but you know, that's, um, that's the limitations too. It's just like, mm. we can't, I don't think we're going to be able to manufacture six of them, but um, I'm mm. still in, in, still in the process of all that. So as of now, you can only get it from me. <laughs> nice. But <laughs> what said, actual product is. See is kitty. Yeah. <laughs> That's the thing um, is I have all the material to make it here. Like all the stuff I have it. Like I just need to send it. <laughs> so now this leads us to the main event because we're talking about pro those were just kind of like ideas and things that you have that you've been playing with. But now we're talking about uh, the, the main event, the real product that you just released with uh, our good oh, friend, no. Mr. Perseus Arcomanis. And oh, uh, no. it is uh, Jurassicram. Let's talk about Jurassicram, <laughs> man. How did that how did that come to be? What was the idea for that? And uh, would you be able to demo any of it? Uh, all right. Well, I'll tell you about the idea first. <laughs> no pressure if you don't want to demo it. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no worries, no worries. Um, so this idea actually came one night. I was on a server, and basically what ended up happening is I was jamming with a good friend of mine, Benjamin, and him and another person. I forgot. I don't recall the other person. I'm sorry, other person. I recall irrelevant. That. They were irrelevant, but um, irrelevant. But Benjamin Francis is awesome. So big ups to Ben. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy is cool. Go check out the Oracle Bar on Instagram. Um, but basically, they were talking about propolis mentalism, and I was like, oh, okay. Um, here's one thing. I, I don't. I just create. I don't really have a subject in magic. Yeah, cards are my strong suit, and isn't that everyone's strong suit? But, um. I just to create, I create to create. And one thing as I was right there with a notebook and I was just like, huh, 
I wonder if I could make like some mentalism thing. Like I've never really tried that much mentalism. I've read Corinda's. Maybe that's about it. Um, but I was just jotting down like, okay, what am I going to do this about? Oh, Harry Potter. And then I was just like, oh, that's just my thing. No one really cares that Lindsay, much about Harry you Potter. you dirty dog. But um, that sprung into something else. But I was just like, ah, Jurassic Park. That's an interesting one. Because in my head, the idea of doing a mentalism trick or anything that has to do with dinosaurs is beautiful. Because one, if you're an older person, you're going to think about Jurassic Park. And if you're a kid, what kid doesn't like dinosaurs? If you're a teenager or maybe uh, someone around our age, we know Jurassic Park, you know, and we're not even that old. It is kind of interesting um, how it's something that everybody can relate to. That, but like you don't, you don't talk about dinosaurs on a regular basis. But like everybody knows the names of like a T Rex and stuff for no reason. We just know about dinosaurs. Yeah, and um, off of that, I just started writing down. Okay, so like what can I make it? And then I ended up making a propolis version that then became something else with the help of Ben and my good friend, Aaron, where we have now ESP dinosaur cards, which is really cool. And as well as it comes with the whole book that also has a comedy version by Aaron Ducker that has Jeff Goldblum on it. Yeah. One of the cards is Jeff Goldblum. So if you guys want a, Jeff Goldblum card, you guys got to get the product. It's really cool. It's really funny because it's like an anticlimactic moment and then you get to turn it over and just be like, oh, it's Jeff Goldblum. And then you do your reveal. Do you know what else they had back then when like dinosaurs were around, like those older people would remember? Which one? Glass bottles. Yeah. Glass bottles. What do you Thank mean? You so much, dude. That was a nice one. Fist bump for that, dude. Fist bump for that. that I don't. I'm, I'm. I'm out the loop, man. I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> I, I just made Lindsay's night. He's he's going. Yes. Yeah, so good. happy. Yeah. Oh. Because Lindsay earlier was like Blaze again. That's plastic glass or something different. Oh. My goodness. Glass bottles, well, haha. Um, I could perform this. Let's see. And, Let's see. Um, <clears throat> because you uh, got, you got, you got, I mean, you got Mr. Big Mentalism right here. Oh, oh, Mr. No. Big Brain. So. I did that because Leo, I don't know if this is the product that you messaged me about. Yeah, if I did. You ask, I if, did. You ask, if you ask Blaze, the last like two months of my life have been. Oh, no worries, man. Crazy. Easy, stress free, um, lack. I just probably um, um, cheers on I, to you, man. A vacation, I I'd say, good. like yeah. a full on vacation the whole time. Full on vacation, yeah. Full on vacation. Uh, no magic, did. no mentalism, no card clips, nothing. No. Okay. Right. I did know that ketchup used to be in glass bottles, okay? I just didn't know that there wasn't also an easier way to squeeze it at the time, okay? I didn't know that this. That suddenly, at the same time that they innovated squeeze bottles, they also innovated uh-huh. purple ketchup. Yeah. Okay, purple ketchup. Oh yeah. Well, so here's the other thing I think too, is those bottles came out because the original ketchup bottle, when you like turn it over and squirted ketchup, <clears throat> it like all the water would come out, mm. right? So then, like the easy squeeze, I think, was to get rid of that issue. Potentially, so. <laughs> Tigger T says so Blaze thought they were always in red plastic bottles. <laughs> what? Um, so Blaze oh gets God. killed one every week for being young, which mm-hmm. which is always a little fun. It adds yeah. every episode. Yeah, but uh yeah, and so tonight it's always, it's always a little it's always fun. Yeah. <laughs> His self-esteem gets crushed every week. He calls me crying after every episode. Um <laughs> Always fun, um, but uh, I do. but I but we did so uh, much at the start of the episode. Blaze said that there was like forty different kinds of mustard, and then not that many kinds, and then only one kind of ketchup. 
Oh, he's gone. See, dude, because he knew you were spewing some bullshit, bro. <laughs> no, no. Uh, we can rewind. Let's rewind. <laughs> 40 different okay, seeds or <laughs> types of types of mustard seeds. <laughs> oh, shoot. Uh, Sorry, guys. I hopped out. And for some reason, StreamYard's being weird. Um, this was an interesting. Okay, so wait, let's let's see it. Let's see it. Can you show? Oh it? no! And then, <laughs> Leo, come on, dude. So here, here's the, here's the problem. Here's Leo, the problem. come on, do it, or I'll remind everybody of what happened the first time that you did it for me. Okay, so oh. we're gonna. <laughs> what happened the first time I did it for you? I don't remember. We gotta talk about that story after. Mm -hmm. Uh, and um, then, um, so Brent will immediately answer your question after because I like his his. his What's the best advice for uh, an intermediate magician? Yeah. So. Okay. Um, so here's the thing. Uh, I will perform Jurassic Gram on my behalf of the Propolis version, only because uh, a man by the name of Perseus Archimanes hasn't yet sent the book to the creator. So <laughs> I don't have any of the stuff that is like the stuff that I published, which is funny. But uh, Same, dude. I, I don't have the, I don't have the download files for my downloads. Oh man! All right, so I guess I'll perform this. Uh, it's kind of hard to choose which one I'm going to perform to. It's either Blaze, who's going to you know be Blaze, or <laughs> a real good mentalist that's going to be the real good mentalist. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck in a rock and a hard place right now. If it's, prop, if it's right. propolis, if it's propolis, do it for Blaze. And I'll <laughs> only say this because uh -huh. my friend does propolis mentalism. Yeah. Never in five years done anything successful for me because I think differently. Oh, okay. So when it comes to propolis, I'm already like three steps ahead of the person doing it for me. Mm. <laughs> and my brain just automatically ruins it. So I want to see it perform though. So do it for Blaze. Dude, okay. okay. Also, but you saying that makes me want him to do it for you so bad though, because you're like, oh, <laughs> big Ryan rides a big wheel. He's like, I no, think no. I think so I think too many steps ahead to do magic for me, guys. <laughs> sorry. Of, sorry, of, guys, you can't show me tricks. I think too many yeah. steps ahead. No, no, it's true though, because like a lot of times with prop list, they're asking like uh think of a name or something like that. Uh like a common name, but I always go like Okay, this is uh, automatically, I think, okay, if you, <laughs> if you want me to pick, I'm going to do something that that is still common that you, but they wouldn't think of and stuff. I mean, yeah. Five years, never got anything right yet, so. so <clears throat> okay, right. so. Um, and he's gone. Oh, no, dude. It's going to be so good. Gone. I don't know what his uh, feed is like over there. It's too hot in LA. They don't have internet connection. This is just routers just melting. Melting, yeah. Yeah, just for Well, in the meantime, guys, please keep commenting things from Vanishing Ink you would like us to review, and I will throw them up on the list, and then we can do a straw poll and vote on it, and we'll see what everybody uh, is most interested in us mm -hmm. doing. So, uh, so let us know. So yeah. Keep throwing out in the comments. So our current yeah. list right now. Yeah, what do we have so far? Current mm -hmm. list we have is uh, Glare. We have uh, C2W, like the uh, the yep. card through window or whatever. Uh, I don't. I actually, I think that's card to wallet is C2W. I think it's like card through oh. window or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'll just do uh, card through window. Coinception by Ma Roddy McGee, big fan. Blade yeah. by TCC, and then we we don't we don't even have a fifth option yet. So let us know what you want. Uh, I said sealed by uh, TCC. Oh, sealed. Okay. I'm just watching the trailer right now. Let's see if it's uh, something. Okay. That guy's sorry. <laughs> I love that Tigger T says Ryan is a different person than everyone else here. Who else makes their own pergola? <laughs> this is true. Actually, did my own. Uh, I did my own okay. the last week. Hmm. Okay, so are you? Uh, are you ready, dude? What's up, Garvin? Uh, my camera is being weird. 
Oh, very sad face. Very sad face. <laughs> I'm gonna be in here and like. Well, I'm gonna move him backstage, and then we'll see when he uh, when he comes back. But once I see his camera on, then we'll <laughs> do it. But what's up, Garvin? Welcome everybody, and uh, please, I believe in you, Leo. You're the best. Please, <laughs> he uh, wants him to do it so bad. Okay, yeah, definitely add sealed. It looks pretty neat. Thank you for the support, but just please don't spam the chat. Thank you. It's uh, like a signed coin or card to a little like T uh, thing. Signed coin or card to a little T thing. A card or coin. Uh, you <clears throat> vanish. And oh, it's then, like a tea bag? No, like the actual little like canister things. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, but it's like like sealed in. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. I'm not really used to that kind of prop. It doesn't feel organic for me, a tea canister. No, but I think if the premise, like, I think you might be able to use it for something else. So, the, yeah. I mean, it's, the load is really quick. Like, that was pretty quick to have a okay. sealed, right. sealed can. So, I think. Yeah. I mean. Okay. That's you can cool. change a can to something else. Yeah, a can to something else. But I like the idea that it's sealed. That's cool. Yeah. Hence the point of the product called sealed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm looking on Vanishing, trying to see if there's anything else um, that we would be interested in on Vanishing. What would be something that looks good? Hit Luke Germay, CVF deck, Quantum Angel. Okay, so let's answer this question, actually, while we're waiting. Um, oh, yeah, the intermediate. Yeah, so what's your advice to someone who has been in Magic for a uh, Magic community for a bit? Um I know me. I know you make card clips. Do you make wallets too? Oh, sorry. I read two different messages back to back because uh, the colors look the same. Um, but wanting to branch out more uh, out to layman, more layman. Um, my probably the best advice I'd give you is find a restaurant to uh, or or a place to constantly be performing every week mm -hmm. because there you're gonna get. You're going to see more people in a short amount of time than you will waiting for shows and stuff, right? So yeah. you're at the restaurant, you're doing like really like 50 small shows a night because you're going to each table, interacting with them, doing a you know five minute set, and there you're getting like real world advice and and yeah, yeah. So, because the thing is, like you, it's almost like when we had Doug McKenzie on but not not necessarily in such a technical way but every time that you perform it's like you're collecting data and mm -hmm. you're gathering experience and you're like all right so this is that audience's reaction to this this is how it felt you know and it's like every it's like oh i i did i had a new audience at this table and oh okay this routine that i you know i was doing turns out this person english wasn't their first language so they weren't exactly sure about this instruction so it's like i it was confusing how can i make this clearer so that it's more accessible to everyone and then like you kind of you create your routine gets like refined becoming the average of what what gives you a consistent, solid reaction, regardless of any factors, regardless of any audience? And the way that yeah. you do that is by performing for the most audiences possible. Because if you d if you gear up and you practice for two months for one show, like you might kill it, you might bomb. But even if you kill it on that one show, that doesn't give you enough information to know like how it would do for any other audience. You know? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, hundred percent. You gotta just uh, perform as much as possible. That's the best advice. And then said, "What's your go-to for restaurant magic?" Um, I mean, mine changes every single week, because I or pretty close every week or every couple of weeks because I'm always I have a lot of regulars at my restaurant that I do uh, occasionally, and so I I try to change it up for them and stuff. So, um, I was gonna add a note to what Blaze said. Um, I don't know if you already said this while I was gone, but. It's very important to perform all the time. Not only have a really good, like, I wouldn't say set, because unless you're, like, actually performing at a gig and you're performing a set, but, like, um, it's so valuable to understand those situations and how to handle those situations, you know? That's a very important yeah. thing that not a lot of magicians think about is, like, 
within the time of you performing and over time you'll learn how to handle different situations because at the end of the day like this is something that i argue all the time with a lot of magicians and some people have different opinions and one of mine is like as much theory and as much magic theories out there to read about a spectator at the end of the day we do not understand how a spectator is going to react to magic you know because we don't know you know Maybe let's say this is an extreme case. This is a super extreme case, but let's say like their father was a gambling, had a gambling addiction and they did lost hands, you know, how are you going to, so you, you don't gonna, know like, their past that? experience. Like yeah. that's going to change maybe, how they maybe, view, you know, and then another thing that's very common that a lot of magicians have gone through is a lot of people say, Oh, this is like Chris Angel or David Blaine. So then now you're up against those guys. And how are you going to handle that situation, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it doing? Yeah, I know. Yeah, but you're not that funny, Leo. I'm sorry. It was yeah. Lindsay again. Lindsay's coming. I'm sorry, dude. It was you what are you saying? In school year to ask one girl for a number and you fail. You're, you're, you're done. done. But if you ask every girl for their number, then you're a creep. Don't do that. Especially yeah. if you're no longer in school. Are you in school? Especially if you're no longer that is so sound awful. advice, Lindsay. As a woman, I agree with all of it. Oh my yeah. god! So oh, good. that's sound advice all around. Yeah, don't ask every girl at school out. No. no. Isn't it funny how Pick so like many the best like are in twenty, 20 or thirty? Right yeah, then you're good. That's a safe number. Uh, all right, Leo. Let's see all it. Right, We've so, so do you want me to perform this for Ryan or do I perform this in Blaze? You can do it for me. That's fine. It doesn't matter really, but. All right. Um, all right. <laughs> Propolis time. All right. All right. Children, grab onto your seats. Here we go. Wow. Now, Blaze, I'm going to actually take you somewhere, a place of uh, fear okay. and nostalgia. Um. We're going to go into Spien Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Now, I want you to imagine that you're in a car and you're with your friend. You guys are driving. There's a tour guide. And as you start to get closer and closer, you see these big wooden gates. And on each side is a tiki torch. And you start to see them creak open. And vines ravage leaves all across the jungles. I see. And the tour guide looks at you, Blaze. And he says, now, Blaze... Um, since you're a, a, you're new here to the park, I, are you uh, do you know a couple dinosaur names? Or do you know a lot of dinosaur names? Like how much of a paleontologist do you think you have a chance to be? Dude, I would say I have um, a a slightly above average chance of becoming a paleontologist. Fair enough. No worries. No worries. So, Blaze, I want you to think. <laughs> I laugh so hard. <laughs> trying to bite my tongue. Oh my god! I hey, don't want um, no scrub. Scrub. Okay. Anyways, so tour guide looks at you and he says, um, "I want you to think of the dinosaur, right?" Mm. He said, "No worries." He starts to drive. He starts to get closer and closer. And as you see right here, there's a big cage. It's an exhibition. But there in that moment, your jaw drops. And you're starstruck. Because there it was, your dinosaur. Now I'm going to try to guess what dinosaur you're thinking mm. about. Okay? Hmm. Yeah. Your dinosaur doesn't happen to have the word saurus in it, does it? No. I thought so. I want you to say it out loud in your head like you're saying triceratops, 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 triceratops. You sending it to me? I'm sending it, dude. I'm sending it with all my might. Are you thinking of a velociraptor? Bro. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I did select that I literally had a list of dinosaurs from Jurassic <laughs> Park up to make sure that I had it up. Okay, there you go. <laughs> I added a little more to the script. It's not that long of a script, trust me. The but that's basically the propolis version of it. You just have them think of a dinosaur. You name their dinosaur. And then 
the ESP version, you get the ESP cards and it's kind of the same process, but it's so much theatrical with the cards and it's so much more beautiful with the card. Yeah. Mm. So now if it has Saurus in it, that opens you up to a lot of dinosaurs. Yeah. There's a lot of different dinosaurs. So do you want to do it for of... Ryan? Do you want to do it for Ryan or is it not going to do it twice back to back? I'm not going to do it live. twice back to yeah. back. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. At least live. After this, I'll show him. But um, yeah, yeah. there's a big selection of dinosaurs. And the thing is, it's crazy because I've had so You've many. You've done it for people. me in the past, though, and it was still really clean with a Saurus. Yeah. 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 Only because um, I'm moving, there's like some, like a lot of. If you think about it from a mentalist perspective, I've heard a couple things from a couple mentalists that I enjoyed and I was very happy of, but it's it's just very fast. That's the that's the beauty of this propolis version. It's, it's very fast to get their dinosaur. It doesn't take you a long time. Like, let me guess your star design. Let me guess what's you know what what uh, Zodiac thing you, you you have or whatever, and it takes like a whole hour, and then after they're done, they mess up, they say, oh, let's try something. And they call, pull out the cards because they mess it up, right? Mm -hmm. So I didn't want that, and um, I wanted to have this for sure fire way to get a dinosaur's name, and I'm, I'm about 90% sure they're gonna name the dinosaurs that I'm already thinking of, right, from their thought of dinosaur. But that's why I added the ESP cards is because, you know, there's people who don't like propolis and they're scared of propolis or they never had propolis that worked for them. And that's the thing about this is I've had people who don't do propolis tell me, wow, this actually works and it's not like I'm messing up every single time, which is great. Because you can do this to a kid, you can do this to an adult, you can do this to an older person, yeah. and you can just, right off the bat, just name your dinosaur within the time of you having the script. You could say the script if you want. I like to do um, scripts. You don't have to do a script. You can literally just say, if you wanted to, think of dinosaur. And yeah. that was, then you could go into whatever you're going to do. One quick um, Are you guys yeah. into the, like, the... Uh, static when Leo talks. Yes, yes. Oh my God, yeah. I thought it was me. No. Oh, no you're, you're, yo, Leo, you got cool. problems, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Am I getting a massive problem? Yeah. Yo, it's bad. Like, <laughs> oh my God, talks. it's getting worse. It it sounds like you got like uh, really loud like static coming from your AirPods. I would use just your okay. iPhone mic. Let me let me just use my. Give me a sec. Oh. <laughs> Ow. He's, he ran out oh, of Oh, God. Um, Dude, but I, I think that, you know, honestly, my thought process is like, everybody knows dinosaurs. Yeah. And I think it's less cheesy than like superheroes and stuff. Yeah. Fair you know? Enough. Yeah. And so <clears throat> I think it's something that you could do for guys. You could do you could do dinosaurs for guys or for girls, whereas like star signs, I obviously you could do for anyone, but I think would be more likely to be done for women. Yeah, you know, um, that would care about it. See what happened. <clears throat> like, I'm back. There you go. Hey. Is it better? Is it better? Yeah. So it turns yeah. out that the audio was actually being picked up from my phone instead of my AirPods. That's the problem. Oh, okay. Um, so it was probably the AC that you guys were hearing. <laughs> well, anyways, yeah, I, I think it, I think that it's like cool that you can um, that like you can just even like if you weren't to carry around the props, just having yeah. the prop list kind of in your back pocket, you know, of like yeah. just being ready for it. I think already is a very great part of this download, and then the props on top of it that you can make a whole presentation around it is great. But what were you gonna say, Ryan? Uh, I'll 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 ask the question after. It's all okay. right. Um. On top of that, I thought about um, a couple things before making this project. And unlike a lot of different things, like one thing I've noticed about Orion and I'd like Orion to pick from is that they really look forward to like workers. Like that's the main thing is workers. And that's a one big thing of me is like, it has to work in situations and gigs and whatever. 
Um, I'm just one of those people, but um, anything could be workable if you work hard on it. But I made the cards, uh, they're like a really nice fine plastic. They're not like really like terrible plastic. It's a nice fine plastic only because if you do use the cards, you know, you can use it at a bar, you can use it whatever. But over time, these cards, or if they were papered, they would become brittle, they would break or, I mean, rip or, you know, get dirty. So now that you have the plastic cards, someone could spill a drink on them and they'll still be fine, you know? Yep. So it's very it's very versatile in that aspect as well. And they'll last you a long time because it's mm. very durable. Mm. So if anybody's so, yeah. interested, you can check it out in the uh, in the chat. I just put the link to his uh, his product, Jurassic Gram, and I also will uh, will scroll this banner across the bottom so you guys can see. Just go to orionmagicproductions.com, and then when you go to the shop, you see Jurassic Gram. Leo, is there anything that you are interested in from Vanishing Ink that you think it would be cool for us to review? Anything from Vanishing Ink, man. I'm kind of out the loop with magic in the sense of like new things. Uh, could you name a couple things? Okay. I might so know. One thing I'm going to um, – I just noticed and because I had to copy paste it, I'll call it out. Um, yeah, yeah. For everybody that is interested in going to get Jurassicgram, um, the current URL for the product is Jurassicgram by leonardo <laughs> flores but just know that the product is called jurassicgram there is no c in yeah. the actual product jurassicgram so if you're, if you're looking <laughs> copyright stuff. the cards look great yeah. i'm just looking at it right now they kind of like the magic the gathering look yeah that's the that was one thing that we also thought about is like um having it look like they're from like a a, a trading card Thing that you got or like you yeah. just had them from a game or like a board game you yeah. have these cards that are really cool uh that's me on the front if you can't tell already <laughs> and then but there's the cards right there yeah, Leonardo Flores. <laughs> and there you go tyrannosaurus great Tyrannosaurus. this does look really nice jeff goldblum oh there you guys Type go you guys sexy. also get the jeff goldblum card yeah. Look at you also get the facts on it. Those were written by Aaron Ducker, a uh, really genius guy with writing stuff, and it's hilarious. So, yeah, if you guys want to go check out Jurassic Grand, please go get it. And uh, I'm going to even add in a little gift, but if you guys go get it at Jurassic Grand and tell me you guys got Jurassic Grand, I will send you all three of my downloads that I have on Penguin for you guys Ooh. for free. Boom! Yeah. There you go. So. Check it out. Get Jurassic Gram on orionmagicproductions.com and uh, let us know what you think, guys. We're really excited to hear about it. So, Thanks, man, what's cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Jurassic Gram. Oh, yeah. oh, so we, you were going to ask something, Ryan? Uh, I'll ask you after. The, okay, uh, no worries, no worries. Instance. Yeah. I don't want to give out too much information. So. Yeah. Oh, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> Just like my mentalism brain's kicking in. Blaze, <laughs> Lindsay, um, don't you mean glass? Don't you mean glass? <laughs> so it's like been... it's like soft glass, right? Very, very soft glass. Yeah. Very, very soft glass. Um, <clears throat> uh, Matthew says, "How difficult is Jurassicgram to do?" Oh, um, it's really really easy i'm not kidding like and the beautiful part is in the book without explaining too much it shows you how to do it and i'm pretty sure i can give it to my little cousin he'll learn it like fast it's not that hard mm. um it seems like so much is going on but it really isn't so that's why i love the propolis version is it's fast so it's not hard to do at all Nice. Well, that's oh, great to hear. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, man. Sigur so, likes your skull, Ryan. Yeah, yeah. That's what I was trying to point to over there. Mm. I have a skull somewhere, <laughs> but mine's not all display fancy. Dude, like, I wish oh, I had done. I wish I had done more research on Vanishing Ink as to what oh, products they have because oh. I don't want to. Um, 
Because there might be something that I'm really interested in that I want to get that I'm missing out on. Oh, you know what I want is I want a uh, <laughs> I want an Amaze box. <laughs> you want a Amaze box? I, I would like to review box? an Amaze box. <laughs> Nobody knows what? what an Amaze box does. Uh, Nobody's ever seen that. I'm I'm throwing a Amaze box on the list. Amaze box not going up. What? Well, he's just wants an Amaze box. <laughs> I just want an Amaze box. Amaze box is just going on the list. You know, you know what you should add in there though is the Cuban Bottle Project by uh, oh, yeah. or Striker. Sorry. Oh, I want that. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to see what they have as well. Uh, I have, a, I have a show coming up next Wednesday, and I... Um, you want the Amaze box. Uh, what is Candy yeah. Dwarf? What is what? Candy Dwarf. Oh. oh. Okay, interesting. It's a little, like, uh, eye candy thing. Yeah. Um, we can oh, what about, oh, what about Spectro Touch? <laughs> You Spectre have, you I have, have that, that, right? Yeah, I've got that. Wait, what's the one? Wait, is Spectro Touch? Wait, I wanna, I'm gonna DM you. Spectro, Spectro Touch. Brand says that they want twenty five dollars in shipping. Um, usually, vanishing is pretty good. I think it's like over if you spend over thirty dollars, it's. <laughs> Something like like they have a lot of free shipping uh, offers all the time. I just put it into oh. private. Account. Also, whenever you guys want, um, not whenever you guys want, but whenever you guys can, I want to show you guys something I've been working on, and it's mm. super overhyped for what it is. But um, I just want to get your good, ideas. That is a good segue to it. It is it, super it, overhyped for what it is. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's going to seem like, oh my god, this is so lame. We all know the method, but like the idea behind the idea is what I'm wondering, like an opinion on, if that makes sense. Oh, he's saying for Jurassic cards. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, Dude, you basically said, I'm going to show you something. It's not going to be good, but we're <laughs> going to just, I want to show you anyways. So are you going to show us off camera or you want to do it on the, on the show? Oh, uh, I could do it on the show. Let's do it up. Let's do it up. All right. So uh, here's something interesting I've been working on. So I'll actually do this for Ryan. Uh, so Ryan, yes, um, I'm sure you heard of that big old bandwagon that's been going on of the multiverse, right? Yep. Now, it's an actual like scientific theory that there's other dimensions beyond our comprehension. Behind, behind, uh, beyond our dimension, right? Mm -hmm. Dimension. If you guys mm -hmm. want to get fancy with it, so I'm going to try to make you experience a jump within our universe into another one. Okay. And I'm going to have everyone in the chat feel it the same way. So, um, oh, I'm going to have you do Ryan. Anytime you want to call stop. You just say stop as I ripple down. That just basically means I go down like that. So anytime you want to go, just say stop. Stop. Right here. Perfect. Yep. So this is what's going to happen. Queen of Diamonds. This is just going to be our staple that we are in this universe. That's all this is going to be. Nothing more, nothing less. This is just going to help us provide the information that we are here and present within this moment. Correct? So we'll leave that right there. Now, another thing that we have to do before we actually jump to a different universe is we have to take an aspect from ours in which we will twist around or distort. Uh, for example, um, disturb reality. Oh, you know what, Blaze? You since you're a, a, a good fan of rock, we'll pick rock. We'll pick music, actually. Nice. Um, are you a fan of Queen? Yes. Uh, let's do Bohemian Rap. You know what? Bohemian Rhapsody is kind of a little too... You know, let's do We Are the Champions. How's that? Yeah. <clears throat> do you remember We Are the Champions? 
Mm. Freddie Mercury has this amazing ending. It's like where it has this rising of we are the champions, dun dun. And then he says at the end of the world, it's like this very beautiful like ending to it, right? Um, since we're picking that song, I guess we're gonna have to distort it. I'm sorry, Blaze. I know that you like Queen, but we're gonna have to ruin this for you. In just a moment, we're about to jump. And we're gonna ruin that for you. All right. So, I like this idea. It just happened. It just happened. And now, in this moment, you see. Now we are not in this original universe. In fact, now that we've tampered with this universe, whenever you guys have time, get off the stream after it's done and go listen to the end of We Are the Champions. You'll no longer see that it's there. Where it says of the world will be completely gone. No matter where you listen to it, no matter where you go, Spotify, whatever, because we're now in a different dimension. There you go. So yeah, that's, that's the idea. That's, that's that's an interesting thing of like doing a Mandela effect magic trick. I think the idea of like doing it with oh no we lost Leo oh yeah. no he's back okay. <laughs> yeah yeah I feel like uh, the idea of doing that also with like the app you showed last week Ryan uh, the Patrick Coon <laughs> app would be yeah. really strong. The idea of like literally showing you going back in time to a different timeline. Mm-hmm. And you're like, you, when I go back in time, you know what happens. It creates an alternate timeline. The me that was before is still going on, you know? Yep. Now he probably put the phone down or something, but we'll never get to see him anymore. You know, and now it's like, everybody check your phone what time it is. And then like the whole idea of like, oh, you could rewatch Snow White and she doesn't say mirror, mirror on the wall. She says magic oh, yeah. mirror on the wall now. Actually, that would be pretty sick. The idea of like, Oh, you know, oh, mirror, mirror on the wall. What would you want to see? You do maybe like some kind of routine with like seeing something through the deck, you know, in your yeah. mirror, mirror on the wall. And then like, then after that, you're like, no, but this is a magic routine. And you're like, no, actually, you know what? From now on, it's magic mirror. And then you like, we've just changed the whole timeline. And now it's like you put the word <laughs> magic into it. Yeah. And that's going to blow people's minds because everybody remembers that as mirror, mirror. I've had moments where I've been at jams and I did test runs of this moment of like doing this idea and this moment where I say we are the champions and it's the end. They're like, cause they're so intrigued with the script and this is for magicians. I mean, not for magicians, but I was performing for magicians. What I'm saying is they completely forgot. I just did a essential in magic. And now they were looking at this card of like, what? How wait, how did it was there the whole time, but they forgot the basics of magic, right? Yeah. And then on top of that, they were just like, oh wow, that was cool. And then they start thinking, like, wait, what do you mean that the ending's gone? Wait, what? And then like this guy just takes out his phone, he pulls out Spotify, and then like they're all just listening and they're just like, There's no fucking way that's the end. And like they're just like clicking on it and they're just like no, no, no. Yeah, no. I think I think that I think that it's like it's really cool and has a lot of potential. I think that it just needs like slightly more context. You know, the idea yeah. of like why do you bring up the Queen song uh, yeah. or like the See, idea of, case, of the world? In this you know, case, you like know, yeah. since uh, since I already know you, Blaze, and you're a good friend yeah. of mine, I know you like rock, so it's like yeah, the perfect so, time yeah. to do this. That's the only flaw in this idea is that you can do as many things as you want with Mandela Effect. It's just really bringing the context of it, right? Yeah. Like mm-hmm. there's so many different Mandela effects that you can have out there that you can personalize to yourself, right? Lindsay because said this is a cool idea for reels. I just listened to We Other Champions on Audible <laughs> and the phrases <laughs> stop. That's so crazy. You can listen to music on Audible. I should check it out uh, sometime. I don't know if you can listen to music on Audible. I do not believe so, but you can listen on Amazon Prime Music, which uh you can uh, find us on as well. So Either way, <laughs> in the right place. Right, yeah. So, there's that interesting idea. So oh, now, uh, Ryan, is Spectro Touch good? Because like I would love to do a review of that if people are. Uh, yeah, no, it's a good, it's a good prop. Uh, I used it for a little while and then stopped using it, <clears throat> um, but not because it's a bad prop. Just mm. I didn't want to have to do the dirty work. I didn't think it made my my thing any better really but i kind of want to i kind of want to do it like on the street 
like on the street, like on the like street. on, on D's streets, like walk up to somebody and like, just go like, just be like, yo, how's it going, man? Nice to see you. <laughs> just shake his hand. Just pat him on the back. Just how's it going, man? Yeah. Nice to see you. And then, and then I'll be like, hey, I can touch you without touching you. And then he'll go, what? And I'll be like, I'm going to touch you again. And he goes, huh? And that's Ooh. what happens. You know, on these it would be interesting. You could probably do it. You know, uh, yeah. I'll trade you my spectro touch for your gravity reel. No, there I already know. There's a good trade right there. Give me a wallet <laughs> already. So, Why not? what did you say? I, I said I already gave you a wallet for it. So, <laughs> you did. You did not give me a wallet for a gravity reel. <laughs> that was a wallet out of the kindness of your heart. Well, that's a pretty good wallet. A hundred dollar wallet. It's a pretty good wallet that you did not ever want to use once. Oh no, because the quality's junk. But I can, oh. dude. It's already falling it's like apart. A to be honest, wallet. the new wallet is honestly already falling apart, and I've not even performed with it. <laughs> I, but the thing is, I shouldn't up. wear. I shouldn't use a magic wallet as every day carry. No. Honestly, uh, uh, Lindsay's comment again. Uh, in the new dimension, you can no longer listen to music on Audible. <laughs> 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 Wait, what? Wait, Audible is a audiobook streaming platform now instead yeah. of a music platform dude uh, this is this this new universe rocks dude oh, wait hang on a second here's an aging, rock. here's an aging thing if i say napster what does that mean to you napster a means napster? music streaming like pre-itunes did you have it though no i didn't use napster my dad did oh okay yeah yeah i was gonna say it's it's pretty old it was like the first thing that was like streaming music there was like Napster, and there was one other one I forget what it was called that were like. And then, and then there were like piracy sites like what was it, Live LimeWire or something? LimeWire. That was the other. LimeWire. Yeah. Dude, right. is that even still a site anymore? I wonder. No, okay. I used to have. I used to have both of those, Napster and LimeWire. I remember I used to when I was really really young. There was a website called Watch Dash Movies dot ro, and oh. on this it was like people would film they would like go into movie theaters and they would film the movie with a camera and you could watch movies that were in theaters, yeah. you know, and some of them would be really good, like it no, rips, no. and then some of them would be, you know, that's the crazy thing. in the States. It's illegal for you guys to stream movies, right? Oh yeah. yeah. It, didn't you say it's only illegal for someone to upload it, but like everyone who downloads no, it is like, no, not breaking. No, yeah, that's no, illegal. It's illegal no. to download it. It's but not illegal to watch it. it. Uh, so it is illegal in, in the United States to stream anything that way. They're not going to. It's also illegal to download music off of YouTube, <laughs> but everyone does that oh, on yeah, do MP3 that. or in Canada. It is not illegal to stream anything. You can stream anything you want, as long as you don't download it, um, <clears throat> because of the the way that Charter rights or whatever that they signed for music and and movies and stuff over here years ago. Um, streaming was uh, is not an issue, so. Wow. Yeah. So for next week's streaming, we will be announcing what all of you chose from this poll. So yeah. we will be sending out this uh, this poll link uh, first off to the patrons and then uh, it'll be out to everybody. You can all vote whoever wants to. So how do we want to structure this right now? Do we want to open this poll up to the audience now or do we want to give the patrons some more time to submit ideas for things that they might be interested in. That's a good question. That is a good question. Maybe, maybe we still do this one uh, and then we'll open one, another one up just to the patrons. Yeah. Just in case the patrons want anything. Okay. So we've got our, our, our things. So we've got eight options. I three spectra touch on there. Is there anything else like, um, uh, yeah, I saw there was one links wallet, um, link smoke watch. Um, links. How about you like smoke watch? <laughs> uh, did like uh, yeah. Coming soon. Let's see. Hmm. I think that we want to review. There is a new quiver wallet coming out. Ooh. Huh. Maybe. Leo is in Los Angeles. I am from LA, the uh, city of Los Angeles, California. Hmm. Pero tú ya sabes. I'm Mexican, by the way. 
if that's any use of anything. Ah, uh, you know what? There's a new app that I want to try, Pulse. Mm. Add that. <clears throat> oh, also, I don't. Blades. I don't know if Card Through Window is available on. Um, I don't know if it's available on uh, Vanishing, actually. Hmm. So I might uh, have to take boy. that one off. Yeah. Blades, what how, you many, how, how how many people are viewing right now? Currently, between yeah. six and seven thousand. Uh, right. Eight. 8,000 now? 8,000? <laughs> oh, what is that? Before the stream ends, I want to share one last idea, and that'll be the end of the night. Mm, okay. Idea. Well, he, he's calling when it's the end of the night. That's good. That's good, because the end of the night was coming. Yeah, um, then I could share the idea before. Just let me know. Well, I can't find the thing. Oh, wait. Uh, Window Pro. Is this... Sign card no, is this bro. a sign card through window? No, it's by JP Valerino, bro. I don't even know who that is, bro. <laughs> Wait, is JP Valerino who I think it is? Uh, we oh, got JP Bal Valerino is not who I think it is. Never mind. We got Balance by Josh J. I have that. I could I could review that. Um, there is. Uh. Michael Skinner's Ultimate Three Card Money is being re-released. <clears throat> Should be cool. Yeah. That's, a good, that's a good restaurant worker. Um, it'd be interesting to to see the differences between a couple of the different uh, Monty routines that there are out there. Um, there's one other. Oh yeah, I, I said Candy Morph. Uh, I think is uh, is an interesting one. Looks. Looks like just like a good piece of eye candy. Mm, candy candy more. more. It is on Vanishing as well. It's a new product out. Um, okay, well, I guess I have to get rid of Card Through Window, which is a very sad face because I wanted that one. But... <laughs> yeah. well, okay. There's a little kid pass on. Oh, Lit, which span lit which from span Vanishing? Okay, what is Lit? Lit? Did you put Pulse on already? Um, pulse, pulse, yeah, no, <laughs> no lasagna tonight. Great, <laughs> no, wait, we Leo, need we need lasagna. to know. We can still do lasagna. Oh, no, so there's a trick called pulse, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I'm acting from theory 11. Yeah, lit was if it's if it's what. What Grant is thinking it is lit was originally a Dan Haas trick on 311. Mm, yeah, it looks like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's an old trick. I mean, David Bling did that on like his first or second mm. special. Yeah, definitely an old one. Socks by Michael Watt. I it's a great that. trick, though. Fantastic trick. Hmm. She, yeah. I know the guy, I think, that gaffed all the cards for that. You think? Is there anything pro <laughs> oh, mystic you know? from here? No, I'm pretty sure that that guy that guy did it. Um, but I, yeah, I remember him telling me about something like that. Anything yeah. pro mystic? No, there's nothing I pro mystic. Think, I don't think anything pro mystic no. would be on there. No. Too yeah. expensive. That's the like looking by Dan Harlan. Oh, they have it's some like, expensive stuff. They have some like four thousand, five thousand, like John Miranda stuff. Yeah. Dude, just, they're they're the they're literally the Louis Vuitton of magic for mental. Mm, yeah. Like it's, but the stuff you get is beautiful. Um, let me see if they have that. Oh yeah, uh, is the awakening the thing that I thought? Oh no, it's a rope trick. Oh, interesting. I do zero rope magic. Yeah, I do. I do, I do. It may be interesting to actually. Yeah, there's a trick see. called Milkin Light Bulb by C TCC. What? Um, it, it, it may be really interesting to try the Awakening. The no. Awakening? Yeah, as both of us do not do any rope magic. Dude, I'm I'm interested. I'm beyond fascinated with Milkin Light Bulb. Yeah. <laughs> Milk and light. Uh, dude, Milk and it light is bulb an old trick. Milkin Light Bulb is an old trick. Yeah, I mean that's uh, been around forever. Oh, I didn't know. It's an iconic effect. 
Oh, it makes sense. It was a Marvin Roy, Mr. Electric thing. Okay. I didn't realize. Oh, wow. This is actually really fast. It's $299 for Milk and Light Bulb. Wow. Yeah, it's it's always been a more expensive thing. There used to be cheap, pretty cheap ones out, but but in in what setting would you do that? Uh, so one of the guys I know does it on stage, <laughs> um, does an Oreo cookie thing, and then has his milk and cookies, and then makes the milk vanish. And milk and cookies. Mm. Lay up on the table for yeah. so It's nice. It's a nice little piece. All righty. Well, well, I don't know. That cup of milk looks. Uh, yeah, it looks very gross. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. Dude, that's some thick milk. Yeah. And some off color, like. <laughs> that's like yellow milk. Not super white. And it's just like. It's a like creamy color. Like. It's like paint. Beige. All pink. The strawberry milk. The thing that you're paying for, though, I guess, is the. Uh, that looks nice when he pours it back. The the thing that you're paying. Oh, oh, what what are they doing? Oh, why did he do that? We could review Malice by Lost Art Magic. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I just watched the trailer for this, and at the end, he does a D light and he puts the light out of it, and I'm like, why are you doing that? Mm. Don't do that. It's not smart. Wait, what is Boombox by Andrew Niner? Essentially, you're just showing people how it works, like how the light is on. Leo, do you know what Boombox by Andrew Niner is? Uh, I know Andrew Niner. I don't know Boombox. Wow, you get quite the ATA case with this trick. Which trick is it? The milk. Uh, oh, milk. The light bulb milk? Yeah, yeah you get, like a full little case with it. <laughs> the milky bulbous? I guess they give the you milky bulbous. They give you the light <laughs> as well. That's interesting. That that's actually nice. Uh, we have reached the end of the evening. As I'm as I'm leaned back quite far. Um. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, let's ask him. Let's do the most important, the most, the most, the, the most, most important, important quote. Question. Oh God! Question of the night. Out of all of the questions, there's only one question that everybody comes here for. The one, the only. Are you ready? Lasagna! Lasagna! What's your favorite genre of lasagna? Meat. Lasagna. Veggie. Lasagna. Plain. Lasagna. Saucy. Lasagna. What's your favorite genre of lasagna? Keller. Lasagna. Cheese. Lasagna. Bolognese. Lasagna. Lasagna. Blame. Houdini. What's yours? Oh, we love a full playthrough. Well, I thought you were going uh, to the bathroom. I no, like, no, dude. I, mean, I, was like, I would never abandon you like that. Uh, we lost. We great lost great everybody. Comments. There are some great <laughs> comments that came in. Big Picture oh, nice. by Carl, Carl Purnell. A new release that, uh, that's doing really well. Um, Parsons Switch. Yes, I would be well. interested in the uh, Parsons Switch, but I don't know if I don't that know is have that. vanishing. Let me see. Oh, yes, it is. Parson Switchbox is the illusion spot. Oh, oh, nice. Nice one, Grant. Thank you. Um, uh, I never asked, but did you also mix the beat? Uh, no, I found the... Uh, <laughs> He's like, I found it online. <laughs> I found the beat. No, it's from a creator I know, and then I, I oh. just I made the song for it. All right, well, I think that we have a... Uh, I think that we have a very good list. Has it always said stay incredible? The song? Oh, the, the, no, the, uh, bring up the, uh, bring up the lasagna thing. Oh, yeah. Lasagna! Lasagna! It's always said always stay incredible. incredible. Yeah. Stay incredible. Always. That's a real, that's a real, like, deep cut, though. 
Yeah, I like thought, we never really focused on the stay incredible. No, I thought that's what she was asking. Uh, is it, it doesn't always say that, but that's iconic. Um, okay. <laughs> in the so, new one, it now says it. <laughs> that's a good throwback, Lindsay. I got your joke. Um, hey, Grady's in the house. What's going on, Grady? Okay, so here, uh, we are going to create this poll and uh, duplication checking is by IP address. So only via direct link. I'm not going to allow multiple choices. I will not require participants' names. And uh, let us see if... Uh, well, let's see here. Share, copy link. Let's see what you guys all think. Oh, SvenPad Celebrity... Oh, now we've got more suggestions. Oh, yeah. Come in and come on, guys. All right, I'm going to... Matthew's gonna been awesome. Nice. It's been really good. Matthew, Big Picture, Kyle Purnell, Sven Pad, Celebrity Corsage. Um, and then uh, Leo's gone. There he is. All right, I'm back. Uh, all, right. <laughs> all right, let's do let's create call. Let's get to the most important question. Leo, what is your favorite genre of lasagna? I think my favorite genre of lasagna would have to be a slab of concrete. With uh, Over it will be... Uh, a button down shirt with a man in it with a six pack called Jeff Gold. <laughs> what? Yeah. You okay? Jeff Goldman. Yeah. Jeff you Goldman okay? Is my, is, is my favorite lasagna. I don't know if any of that made sense. I. <laughs> All right. For real, for real. Uh, my favorite lasagna. I don't even did we just go to another dimension just now? That was crazy. Dude, there's I no, feel like I just no, teleported no to another dimension. In this dimension, dude. What's lasagna? Um, I guess just regular lasagna. There's no. I don't think there's anything. I guess we went from the most obscenely the multiple, ridiculous to the most, the most lame. Yeah, 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 yeah. With the most, I guess with uh, the three meats. Is that like a real thing? Three, three meats. meats. Three meats. Yeah, there's like three different meats in the la lasagna. At what least, kinds of meats? What kind of meats? I think it's sausage, and then I think it's like uh, that meat sauce, and I believe that <laughs> that meat. I forgot what the last that one meat is. sauce, yo. No, is that meat sauce, yo. Go to the store. We have the meat <laughs> sauce. Just whatever. They have, go, there is the real meat sauce at Walmart. <laughs> meat sauce. I would just want to eat meat sauce for dinner. We have and the just, meat sauce, yo. Yeah. If it's food, I eat it. Okay, so it's it's <laughs> sausage, it's sausage and meat sauce and what? What's the th what's the third meat? Ah oh, man, I can't recall the third meat. <laughs> Dude, it sounds like this is a one meat. Boy. This sounds lasagna. like a one very meaty lasagna. I know. <laughs> Dude, there are like as many variations of lasagna as mustard. Well, they, they... <laughs> <laughs> Comment of the night goes to Meat Lindsay. sauce lasagna. There's, there's like as many variations of lasagna as mustard. Yo, okay, Lindsay, <laughs> you are literally like anytime you want to come on the show, Lindsay, open invite. You can come I on think, anytime. I think we should. We should have this. And we should have all of our patrons. We should on. have all the patrons. On. The patrons are honestly like I think that we are really lucky with our patron community that we have so far. You know, because I think that it's a uh, it's a that's really really fun group i love day hanging day. out with with our patreon group <laughs> yeah. they, they're a blast I, I think that especially after among us the other night i was like we need to get a we need to do this gosh. way more often yeah i will not so. play among us with you guys ever again that was a blast it's dude it's about, dude, it's about it's about lying to each other and never trusting each other ever again well, dude i know thing, everyone thing, kept calling me out the funny thing is when i dominated the game I never wow. said anything. I hated that. He just laughed yeah. a few times. Like, yeah, but dude, it was because you had just started playing, so everyone yeah. took it easy on you. No one expected that you would possibly ever be the imposter, but because so like you, it. you were asking the most basic questions about like how to move. <laughs> And then, no. meanwhile, while you're asking the most basic questions about how to move, you're murdering people. It was amazing. Yeah, dude. It was like, that's fu Oh, my God. It I was crazy. That. It was that the was most so unexpected. So what if I actually have played Among Us like, 
couple hundred times. Dude, he probably did. He probably did. He was playing. The deception runs deep. So anyways, we're not going to be friends by next week. But thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Thank you. I want uh, more idea, bro. Oh, Leo. Oh, he's less idea. Oh, dude. All right, guys. Hang on. We also do the the follow-up question. Oh, the follow-up question. Oh, man. I'm a mess. We're missing out on so many. Wait. You got to... So, Dude, stay in this dimension, bro. <laughs> I, got, I got it. Well, you just sit back. I got the rest of the episode. So, Leo. <laughs> yeah. We have your two and a half meat, fake three meat lasagna. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Toss is not a meat. Um, and you bake one of those. Okay. And then, and then. I, an identical second one. Yep. Yeah. And then go ahead, please. <laughs> and then you stack uh, the second Identical oh. three meat lasagna on top, atop the first three meat lasagna. Do you now have one three meat lasagna or two? You have one jumbo lasagna. Ooh. Right. That's what you one Ooh. big lasagna. As long yeah, as it lasagna. keeps piling up, it's just one lasagna. Goes along with our merch. I like it. I like it. Uh, it does go along with our merch so everybody check out allaccessmagic.com slash shop you can go check out the lasagna merch and get the lasagna mathematics hoodies selling like hotcakes if hotcakes were not really in fashion at all you should go get some hotcakes dude when was the last time you had hotcakes that's been a while well well, you know the the frequency at which you've bought hotcakes is definitely the frequency at which we are selling these hoodies. No. So they are selling like hotcakes. Um, I uh, Grady asks, what tier of the Patreon is the most worth it? I may join. Grady, you should join. Any tier is worth it. Any tier is uh, worth it. I would say that he, I, I would say that you get a lot of value from the the lower tiers. Like uh, I'd say probably the ten dollar tier is probably the sweet spot. Is probably the most. Best sweet spot. You know, like you start getting discounts on on magic stuff and all. Yeah, stuff. start getting discounts on things, and and especially now that we're doing this partnership with Vanishing, you're going to be able to get, you know, those discounts on products, which is going to be really crucial. You know, so that'll be that'll be great. So. Yeah. Uh, all right, Leo. Last thing, and then we're gonna. Yeah. End. And while Leo is doing this, uh, everybody, I've already posted the straw poll in the chat. I'm gonna post it again. Everybody who hasn't voted, please go to the straw poll. Go to that link and vote on what product you think we should review first from Vanishing Ink. And uh, whatever gets the highest amount of votes, you know, we'll probably end up being what we what we go with, you know. But we're going to give the patrons a chance as well. But now, uh, yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, right. Leonardo Flores, take it away. All floor. right. So, um, actually, I'm going to use this last moment to do the no shame plug stuff. Guys, go follow me on Instagram. He's not even doing the trick anymore. And no, um, the idea. Dude, uh, so this so is this not is what, what I... we signed up for, dude. This is not how it goes. We do the plugs. Yeah. This is our show. We do the plugs. It's okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll, nah, you're gone. You're gone. No, okay. That's the end of the show, everybody. Thank you so much for what? No, no, no. He left. No, yeah. I clicked him back. Did you leave? <laughs> he actually left. No, no, I clicked him back. He's like, he's like, oh, what a jerk. <laughs> No, 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 no. There we go. Such people. Dude, <laughs> dude, you you lagged out and I was like, oh no, he just left. <laughs> I was like, oh no. Dude, what a terrible friend. Just um, jokes. Just jokes. Uh, so last idea is actually I can't uh, it's just an idea to throw out there. Um so uh this is a follow-up to like a book I'm doing a uh, full of delight stuff. So I know it sounds funny, just full of delight stuff. So I just wanted to throw out this weird idea for anyone who's out there who is a mentalist or trying to get into mentalism. There's a thing that I do with a delight that um, you could do with a delight as well. So instead of doing your plain mentalism reveals on a piece of paper or whatever, I've done a version of the pocket dimension or card dimension thing in a way where you could do it with just a delight. So um, have the spectator think of something, uh, you know, do whatever you need to do to get the information, have a delight on you, it's concealed it's delight, it looks like a, like a thumb, right? And then all you do is you cup your hands like this. And now with the delight pressed, when you open it, it looks like you open this like, ref- like portal with like light shining in your face. So now you can do like a reveal where it's like, oh, you're thinking of Malibu 
or like think of your dream destination or whatever. And then now you open it and then they see this like weird light just shining in your face. And then you get to show your hands empty and it's kind of like a portal. So mm. that's all. And if you guys want to follow up, then yeah, that's it. <laughs> Receive the power of the knowledge. It's almost like Dumbledore pulling thoughts out of his brain yeah. hole with his wand. Um, but instead yeah. you're putting them inside your brain. No hole. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That's the magic of D-Lights. That's the magic of D-Lights. That's such, uh, yeah, a good idea, man. Yeah, I think that it's really fun. I think like show. I think it's it's like what's really fun about the Discord communities that we've that we have and that we've created, you know, is that I think that it's really re-inspired a lot of us during, especially during such a crazy time with COVID and stuff and not yeah. being around magic communities. But I find myself going back to our Discord communities and like really enjoying getting to hang out with us and jam like outs regardless of the fact that now that the world is reopened and yeah. uh, and it's really a great time and i i think that magic is about having fun and i think a lot of times when we start doing it professionally we f can forget about that you know with like trying to put out products or whatever or put out things that are to appease other magicians instead of just focus focusing on having fun and brainstorming and like creating fun moments yeah. for audiences and ourselves. And I think that, you know, uh, yeah, it's just awesome seeing this kind of stuff that you're creating Leo and the, the kind of stuff that we create in the jams is I like always it. just, you know, for the fun of it and for the, uh, just for the expression. So that's awesome. And as and, a, uh, yeah, as a, uh, as a sneak peek to anyone who's interested in any of my work, um, yeah, the whole Jurassic Gram thing, I'll do that. But if you're a Patreon fan uh, of this All Access Magic podcast, show me proof and I'll send you one of my downloads or something. Sick. So. Awesome. Thank you, man. Really appreciate the support. Leo, always a huge supporter and a uh, great guy. So give him Thank support. Give him some love. Check out, check out uh, his... Uh, well, right now he's on Gumroad. He hasn't hit up OnlyFans yet, but uh, check out his Gumroad. <laughs> and, uh, check out his YouTube. Check out his Instagram, Dementors LA. His link's in the description. And uh, we'll yes. see you all very much soon. Thank you so much for watching. See you on Patreon. Peace.